Hello and welcome back to the Knowledge Catalog. This is Physics and welcome to the fourth quarter of Science 9. For this uh, edition of Physics, we will be having the following learning competency, which is describing the horizontal and vertical motions of a projectile. For this um, quarter, we are no longer going to use the learner's module that we have been using. Instead, we will be using the 7e-based self-learning module, which I specifically developed for this course. Right, so if you want to follow through, you need to have a copy of it and open it in Unit 4, Book 18, pages 1 to 4. This video lesson is divided into the following parts. The first part is an overview that features the learning competency and the learning targets. That's a new feature. And then it's going to be followed by a pre-assessment which is going to be comprised of multiple choices. And then it's going to be followed by the first section, Observe, which is going to be about a recap on the grade 8 lessons, which is comprised of multiple choice items. Let's begin! Okay, so uh, for the overview, uh, simply lang naman yung gusto nating uh, magawa dito. It's to give you an idea on what to expect uh, in, this, uh, in this video lesson or in this uh, edition of, the, uh, of physics. And so what you see here right now in this GIF is uh, is the word trajectory and the word projectile. This book, 18, is entitled Motion in Two Dimensions. And the very first topic that we'll be tackling in this quarter will be about projectile motion. Projectile motion is a very important topic in mechanics. There's just a branch of physics that deals with things in motion. Physics, on the other hand, is a branch of the physical sciences that deals with the interaction of matter and energy with each other. So we are studying the interaction of matter and energy. It seeks to help you understand why things behave the way they do by giving you both mathematical and theoretical methods of approaching problems and solving them. And so for the learning targets, uh, we have the following. So I'll be mentioning them. But first, uh, we have the come to understand motion. Uh, we have to remember how we understood it uh, in grade 8 when we talked about speed, acceleration, and velocity. So in order to successfully learn new things in this uh, book, which is book 18, we need to review some of those concepts and accomplish the following mini tasks. The first one is that you should be able to, be, to explain an object's motion in terms of its horizontal and vertical components. So it's a yen sa mga dapat in this uh, in this book, book 18. And then, you should also be able to describe the motion of a projectile with a half-parabolic and a full-parabolic trajectory. Uh, yung kanina, nakita mo yung pag-shoot pag na, ano, di ba? Ito. So, what you see here, uh, the word trajectory is this line, okay? Kung saan nag-start yung projectile at kung saan siya nag-end. So, you should be able to, ex to describe motion that happens uh, for a projectile that has a half-parabolic or a full-parabolic trajectory. And then the, the next uh, mini task is, or next learning target is for you to be able to appreciate the science of projectiles through its superb real life applications. And we're done with the uh, learning targets. And so the learning competency was also uh, given to you earlier in this video. So I hope you don't forget about it. Okay, para guided tayo. And then the next uh, part is a pre-assessment. So go ahead, get your science notebook or a sheet of paper and answer the following questions. The first question is, a ping pong ball was fired from a launcher from the ground at 35 degrees with an initial velocity of 200 meters per 250 meters per second. What is going to be the maximum height to be reached by the ping pong ball? A. 900 meters, B, 1,000 meters, C, 1,900 meters, D, 2,000 meters. Pre-assessment item number two. A project deal can be launched in two ways. Which among the following statements is true about project deals launched through a half of a parabola? A, their initial velocity with respect to the horizontal will be equal to zero. B, their initial velocity with respect to the vertical will be equal to zero. C, their initial velocity will be equal to the sine value of their launch angle. D, their initial velocity will be equal to the cosine value of their launch angle. Question number three. 
A toddler dropped his teddy bear from their balcony that is 3 meters high with an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. How long was the teddy bear suspended in the air? A. 0 0.78 seconds. B. 7.8 seconds. C. 0 0.87 seconds. D. 8.7 seconds. Question number four. Sir Isaac Newton proposed the three laws of motion after famously being struck by a falling apple. Which among the following factors increases the downward velocity of a projectile? A. Gravity. B. Inertia. C. Friction. D. Mechanical energy. Question number five. Albert is a very good basketball player. He is always training hard. In one of his games, he was invited to try shot put, a sport that uses heavy metallic balls, for a culminating activity of the Mape Club. In one of his tries, he was, he was to launch a light shot put ball with an initial velocity of 50 meters per second at an angle of 60 degrees. How long has the ball been suspended in the air? A. 9 seconds. B. 10 seconds. C. 11 seconds. D. 12 seconds. I hope that you were able to finalize your answers for the pre-assessment. Let us check your work. For the first question, the answer is 900 meters. For the second question, the answer is B. Their initial velocity with respect to the vertical will be equal to zero. For pre-assessment item number three, the answer is 0 0.78 seconds. For item number four, the answer is gravity. And for answer number five, the answer is nine seconds. Count the number of correct answers and report them on the upper right-hand corner of your sheets of paper or of your sheet of that page on your science notebook. I hope that you did well in this pre-assessment. That means you have so little along to add to your knowledge. But if you did not, that's only fine because the pre-assessment's aim is just to know what you already know about the topic. And speaking of remembering what you know about a topic, let us now move on to the third and last uh, part of this session, which is observing recap. You need to be able to review your grade 8 lessons. So we'll be giving you, I will be giving you five multiple choice items okay, for us to know whether or not you're ready to proceed with this module. Okay, for item number one, Gabriel left his pen on a flat and level table. Which among the following pairs of forces are acting upon the pen? A. Gravity and friction. B. Gravity and normal force. C. Gravity and mechanical energy. Or D. None of these. Question number two. Sir Isaac Newton proposed three statements that describe what happens to objects when subjected to a particular condition. Which among the following describes his second law of motion, which is also known as the law of acceleration? A. An object in motion will remain in motion. B. A heavy object tends to have slower acceleration. C. There will always be a reaction to an action. D. An object at rest will remain at rest. Question number three. He is not a pro diver, driver, but Michael can surely drive a clutchless motorcycle when the need arises. If his initial velocity upon recording is 70 kilometers per hour and his final velocity is 80 kilometers per hour, what was his average velocity? A. 75 kilometers per hour. B. 150 kilometers per hour. C. 10 kilometers per hour. D. 5,600 kilometers per hour. Question number four. 
In the shooting range, Jay-Z, an archer, push a target by applying 500 newtons of force to cover 7 meters of distance. How much work is done? Remember, in grade 8, you were supposed to have mastered how to use the formula for work. And you're supposed to remember it. Yeah. A, 3,500 joules. B, 350 joules. C, 35 joules. D, 3.5 joules. Question number five, the last item for this observing recap questions. Which among the following plays a key role in the potential energy of objects? A. Density. B. A. Resistance. C. Gravity. D. Technology. Finalize your answers. If you are ready, let us now check your work. For the first question, remember that when something is set on a leveled surface and it, that it appears to be stationary, it means that the force of gravity is being evened out by normal force. The answer is letter B. Question number two. Remember that the law of acceleration is describing that mass is not directly proportional to the acceleration of a body. In that case, a heavy object tends to have slower acceleration. The answer is letter B. Question number three. The answer is 75 kilometers per hour. The formula for getting the average velocity is going to be final velocity plus initial velocity divided by two. Question number four. The amount of work done by JC is 3,500 joules. Question number five. The key, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the thing that plays a key role in the potential energy of objects is gravity. Okay, I hope that you are able to get some really good answers. If your score is around 3, 4, or 5 over 5, that means you are very much ready to proceed with this lesson, with these lessons, with the next part of these sessions. But if you got around 2 or 1 or even 0, I suggest that you go over your uh, grade 8 uh, lessons and study more about them because if you do, if you won't do that, mas may hirapan ka. That's my advice. Okay, so we're done with the last uh, with the third and last part of the session. Observe, recap, graded lessons, multiple choices, and that we're also through with these parts, with these uh, overview and the pre assessment. Remember that in this edition of the knowledge catalogs of physics nine we are supposed to master describing the horizontal and vertical motions of a projectile. This has been Sir CJ, and I hope that I will be seeing you in the next edition of the Knowledge Catalogs Physics 9. Have a good day.